here this morning, always enjoys the opportunity to serve as an evaluator, and he considers it a treasure. One gets the chance to practice their impromptu speaking skills as well as give valuable feedback when they're giving a, an evaluation. Gary welcomes the evaluation of Fabio as an opportunity for both of them to develop. Please welcome Gary to the lecture. <laughs> It's amazing what you can write in three minutes before you need to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Procrastinator. <laughs> I like it when people make it up. It's always more interesting. <laughs> Fabio, project four. But I don't think this is your fourth. I think you've done more than Yeah, this is my fifth. fifth. This is your fifth, okay. And this project is how to say it. And I remember this one very well for mine because Andy Brown was my evaluator and he, it was interesting. <laughs> but this morning I understand procrastination. I can do it with the best of us. <laughs> I'm going to beat you up a little bit this morning. So don't take it personally. It's just to help you help yeah. you get better. Sure. Some things you did well. One, you did your speech this morning and you got up here and you were able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you props for that. <laughs> Your eye scan of the room was good. The backstory, and I'm going to go both ways with this, I think was great because we then had an idea of why you were a little bit ill prepared in giving your speech. But the other side of that is no one really knows what you do wrong other than you. So if you don't tell us, we never know. So you could use that as you may in the future. I think the humor was awesome. You kept us laughing. I don't know if that was purposeful humor that you don't <laughs> know or it's just your natural personality, but whatever it was, it worked quite well. So you did that, you did that very well. Some specifics from the objectives were rhetorical devices and thing, and I had to look it up and see what they were talking about. <laughs> Similes, metaphors, alliteration, and something called a triad. I have no idea what those are, but <laughs> I didn't really see many of those there, so maybe I can incorporate some of those. Jargon and unnecessary words. I don't think you really had any jargon in there. Things were, things were pretty clear. Any unnecessary words, I don't I didn't notice any of that as well, so you did that, you did that well. Some other things I noticed, where I'm going to beat you up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't evade us by... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go. Some things, you tend to sway a little bit. Mm -hmm. Laura, let me know that you were working on that, so I made sure I wrote it down, so thanks to Laura for that. Mm -hmm. The other thing, I don't know if you do this, but you tend to tilt your head. I forget to which side, but you tend to tilt your head when you speak to us a little bit. So maybe work on that a little bit. We all have our little ticks or things when we get up here. And the last thing I wrote was, and I talked about this earlier, don't apologize to us. Because like I said, we don't know. I mean, you could get up here and be totally off base, and we'll never know. As long as you project the confidence when you're up here and you give your speech in that manner, you'll do well, and I'm sure you'll do great in the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Bobby.